Maybe it's time for a house tour. What do you guys think? Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through my entire house. So if you like budget-friendly home decor upgrades, if you are interested in temporary interior design in a rental home, this is the video for you. Grab your cup of coffee, let's get into this house tour and make sure you watch all the way to the end. I've got a huge announcement that I can't wait to share with you. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's start from the front door. The door was stained by the owner, so just know that is not my work. And you walk into our beautiful living room and dining room over here. We've got this little entry space. Here's our table. This one was actually given to me by my friend Caroline. And then I've got a little piece of string art here from Home Goods, a DIY vase. I'll link the video for that below. Some books that I either thrifted or purchased, and then a little basket for cold weather accessories from Target. This neutral rug, it gets a lot of traffic here in our entry. I think it was like $25 at my local Goodwill store. Here's the full entryway. We love our living room space and we have really redesigned this in the time that we've lived here. I'll insert some footage of what it used to look like so you can kind of see. The big start of this was buying this beautiful mid-century sofa from Article. This is the Sven sofa and you can see it's in the like sort of cognac leather color. We absolutely love it. It's very comfortable and very much the style that we were going for. We also love as dog owners having a sofa that doesn't have dog hair stick to it all the time. It's pretty nice. All the pillows on the sofa currently are from Home Goods. I like to change them out seasonally. And then this little table is also from Home Goods. So is the white pot that that plant is in and the coasters are too. Can you tell why I've not been to Home Goods in a while? These two chairs are from Ikea. I will link them down below. These were actually originally purchased for my second grade classroom, but because of COVID restrictions, we had to take everything that was like personal furniture or fabric home, and they have made a very nice seating area in my living room. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna take them back, to be honest. This coffee table is marble and metal, and it's from World Market. I love this beautiful sort of stone cement planter that we found at Swanson's, our favorite nursery here in Seattle. This painting by Pamela Mills is a long time part of my art collection. And if you're interested in pieces like this, she did a whole series. She's got some other really interesting pieces as well. So I'll link her website down below. This is the Dayton sideboard from Pottery Barn. It was our most recent furniture purchase. And we love how it gives a little bit more wood texture and storage to this room. We've got a lot of plants, as you can see. Our fiddle leaf fig is our pride and joy. I'll insert a photo of how tall it used to be, it has grown significantly in the time that we've had it. And then we've also got some hanging plants here. I think they're both pothos. I love to put vintage art uh, from YouTube on my screen when I have people over or I'm just in relaxing in our space. This lamp is from Studio McGee, collaboration with Target. The pillows are from Venezia Home. We have two golden retrievers. We like to keep their dog toys safe and available, but stowed away, so I found some cute baskets. Now let's go into the dining room. My fiance Travis and I moved into this three bedroom, two bathroom rental house. Gosh, when was that? November 2018. We've been dating just over a year and Travis kind of posed the idea of moving in together. So we searched our area for the perfect rental space. Moving into the dining space now, this table is from Crate and Barrel. It's got a beautiful sort of industrial industrial bent because it's got these wheels on one side and the pop-up leaves. The chairs are from Restoration Hardware. The light fixture was actually here, but I disguised it with an unexpected decor piece. In the dining room, we've got some interesting art pieces. The two on the outside were found at a rummage sale locally, and the textured piece of art in the middle came from World Market. I love to decorate with live plants, and you can see I've done a little centerpiece here with a tray from Ikea and some of our favorite plants. You might recognize this piece of art. It's from the Studio McGee collaboration with Target. This is a painting by Pamela Munger, and I've since started following her on Instagram. I actually purchased another piece to celebrate something special 
special. I'll show that to you in a moment. This home has been amazing for us. We have truly built our life together here. We've learned to cohabitate. We have had so much fun with our dogs. And of course, if you've been following this channel for any length of time, you might know that I've been redesigning my way through this entire home. One thing that really sold us on this home over other rentals was this sort of second living room. We call it the family room. Very cozy, comfy, loungy space. If you want to see the full makeup or of this room, just like the rest, I'll link it down below. We love to lounge here with our dogs. I love to lounge here after school and watch some YouTube, just decompress from a busy day. The sofa is secondhand. It was a gift from my mama when she was getting a new sofa. This one's from the Four Seasons Company. This one is a slip covered sofa. Pretty nice that we can toss the covers in the wash. Another basket for dog toys, as you can see, a theme in my home. This one's from Project 62 at Target. The beautiful Monstera plant here that we've been working on growing for quite some time. It was very small when we first got it and it's grown quite a lot. A couple of my favorite design books here, Live Beautiful by Athena Calderon and architectural digest at 100. And then this marble and wood coffee table has a little bit of a mid-century vibe. This one's from Hay Needle, sourced through Amazon. This is another one of those Venezia home pillows, same beige from the living room. This one's the lumbar style, and oh, I just love the texture on these. On this side of the room, you can see we've got a chair and ottoman. This is the Elroy chair and ottoman from the Studio McGee collaboration with Target. I just love her stuff, and it's been fun to gather a few pieces in my home, but I think I might have enough from that collection. I guess never say never, but yeah. One of my favorite things about this space are the layered rugs. The lower rug is the Low Halls Jute Rug from Ikea. I can't recommend that rug enough. It's a really good size rug for a great price point and fantastic quality. And then on top of it, I've got layered a vintage Turkish rug. This one came from the Etsy seller Turkish Rug Kingdom. I'll link them down below. I love supporting their business. They're also on Instagram, so go follow them there as well. This lamp is another Stiffel style brass lamp thrifted from my local Goodwill store. Then we've got another beautiful plant. Oh, I love this one. I love how the branches just kind of grow every which way and it's got plenty of space to stretch out. And then this woven cube is so fun. It's from Pottery Barn originally. I thrifted it at Goodwill for about $20, I think. And then I repaired it, painted it, four coats it took. And now it's this beautiful matte black. And I really love the contrast it adds to this space. As you can see, we've wall mounted the television and it's on a swing arm mount, which is nice because we can turn it towards this sofa, the breakfast nook, or we can turn it towards the kitchen if we're cooking or cleaning. And then the other thing that I did was hang a bunch of different pictures around it to create a gallery wall. What's nice about this is it sort of hides it from just being a TV on a blank wall. And it also gave me a chance to work with some of these beautiful pieces in this space. Over here, we've got a painting of our dog Harbor that I did for Travis as a gift one Christmas when we were still dating. Up here, I've got some more art projects of mine that I did in a DIY art video. I'll link that down below. And these are some seascapes in some DIY thrifted frames, and I created the fabric matting. On the other side, this is our breakfast nook. We actually do eat breakfast here every single day. Our breakfast nook is definitely a mix of furniture from different places. A lot of things that came secondhand from Opera. The table was originally from West Elm. And then the art in this space is fun too. These are two abstract pieces that I created specifically for this breakfast nook. The chairs are that sort of Scandinavian wishbone style that have become so popular again in the last few years. This pendant light is one that we purchased from Ikea. I'll link it down below. And it replaced kind of an old school stained glass one that I wasn't a big fan of when we moved in. This little bar cabinet is a gift from Travis's parents. And this piece above the bar is very special. This is Travis's graduating class from the Fire Academy here in Seattle. This was another recent basket purchase from Ikea for towels so we can wipe off our puppies' paws when they come in from the backyard. I found these super cute 
salt and pepper shakers at the MoMA design store. So the salt is supposed to look like a salt crystal and the pepper is supposed to look like a peppercorn. Travis is always propagating new plants, so we've got a little hideaway for those here in the windowsill. Speaking of plants in the breakfast nook, this is another fiddle leaf fig. I could not help myself from buying this. It really adds a lot of life to this corner of the room. This is our rental kitchen and I would love to paint the cabinets or replace some things like the countertops. That white microwave drives me a little bonkers since everything else is chrome appliances. But again, a rental has limitations. Remember, it's not forever and you can always dream about your future kitchen. I absolutely love these wooden raised dog bowls. They've got kind of a cool brassy, coppery bowl color as well. Fits in perfect with our aesthetic. To further define the kitchen space, we added this runner. We found this one, I think it was only $30 from Costco. I know not everyone thinks to source home decor items from Costco, but it's a nice neutral color story. I love decorating with just one really cool cutting board. I don't think I need like five of them, but I really like how that one looks. Plus it hides an outlet when I'm not using it. I love a hanging plant above a refrigerator. I feel like it just brings the eye up again. This is a beautiful philodendron. All right, that's it for all the living spaces. I think it's time for us to head down the hall and take a look at the bathrooms, bedrooms, and of course, our home office. I've really been trying to refine and define my style as it is in the current year. And as I've discussed in some previous trend-related videos, sometimes I embrace trends, sometimes I don't. It's really just about what I think is gonna fit best in our space and create a aesthetic and just overall feeling that we enjoy when we're here. Moving through into the next piece of our home we've got a bathroom this was actually the first room that I made over wanted to give it a little bit more of a spa feeling so I incorporated a white shower curtain little spa hooks those are actually wood and marble some art pieces the Seattle print was from Etsy the other two are original pieces of our beautiful snake plant here and then we also have this rug from Studio McGee collaboration with Target yet again This is a little handy doodad if you want an Alexa where there's no real table surface. This is actually my mid-century mini desk that I used to have in my home office. I've repurposed it here for a little hallway gathering spot. This is another piece from one of my favorite artists, Mark Toby. This is another piece of art by Pamela Munger. It's a seascape. What you doing, Pop? <laughs> couple of seagrass baskets here. This one's from Target, and this is where I like to stow my handbag, but I'm not using it. Moving into our beautiful guest bedroom, I shared this makeover. I will link that down below, of course. It's nice and cozy and pretty and neutral. The little pendant light is from Ikea. This piece of art above the bed is an original by Gordon Wilson. The other side table lamp and side tables are both from Ikea. The throw pillow is from Target and the bedding is hearth in hand from Target. The next room down the hall is our home office. We do have a setup here for Travis when he wants to work on stuff. 
So he's on the right here and he's got some guitars on the wall. This is my new desk setup. I've really upgraded since I've been remote teaching for a year now. I was able to work with FlexiSpot. Thank you so much for sending me this amazing desk. It's an electric desk and with a push of a button, it rises to standing height. It goes very tall and it also goes down with the push of a button. You can just push your chair underneath and sit when you're ready. It's nice to have that flexibility. I also got a second monitor. It's quite large. I'm still dealing with the cord situation as you can see. This monitor helps me with editing all these videos and I use it during the week when I'm teaching remotely. We've got a little shelf over here, some school supplies, books. I love this beautiful neutral textured piece of art. This one's from Sarah Brooke and I found it at Home Goods. I've got this storage piece of furniture from Closet Made. It holds all my teaching supplies, interior design books that I'm studying, printer, all that kind of stuff. I'm hoping to hide my printer a little bit better in the future. This is my vertical bookcase. It is definitely a polarizing piece of furniture. This one came from Amazon. I'll link it below if this is a style you're interested in. I use my books a lot, but I don't always have enough space to store them. Shockingly enough, you can pull books out of there very easily. The hidden shelves make it super simple. This is where I film a lot of my sit down YouTube videos. Put this super cute West Elm Phoebe chair. I've got a little brass side table from Opal House at Target. A couple more beautiful plants from Swanson's, a local nursery that we absolutely love. I've got my little vintage apple, which I'm sure you guys see in my videos a lot. We've got a little hallway into our bedroom. I put this thrifted mirror here. This one originally came from the Nordstrom Home Department and I was super lucky to find it at my local Goodwill store for a song. Here's our main bedroom. I had so much fun creating this makeover and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It just feels cozy and warm and we were able to make some huge changes on a dime. I painted this half wall accent to mimic the feeling of a headboard. This paint color is Benjamin Moore. It's called Thunder and it added some much needed contrast to this space. We've got the buffet stick lamps from Studio McGee on each of our bedside tables and some other accessories like books. I love this thrifted basket for hiding my phone charger. I've got a hanging pothos up there to give the bedroom some height. Our bedding is a mixture of Target and some other finds. I believe our sheets are from Costco. They're the Charisma brand. We love them. We have them in two colors. The rest of the bedding is Casa Luna. This little textured throw pillow is from Home Goods, and I'm loving this sort of textured Casa Luna, sort of oatmeal, linen, sham. This one's quilted, and this was the full linen duvet cover set. And this textured throw blanket is another home goods find. These layered neutrals play so beautifully together. This textured basket piece is another home goods find. It was only $30, handmade in the Philippines. It really adds more warmth. On Travis's side of the bed, you can see that our bedside tables are not exactly matching. They coordinate pretty well though. And I kind of like that unique look that it brings to the space. We kept the bedside lamps matching though to give it that symmetrical feeling. I love how these lamps allow me to layer a little painting behind them on each side of the bed. On this side of the room, we've got Travis's Ikea dresser. This one is Hemnes and it's still available. Above it, a beautiful oil painting. This is a seascape by one of my favorite artists, Charlie Palmer. This is a beautiful French country style piece with hand wood carving. I love the natural wood tone, the interesting carvings. This was a piece that was gifted to me from my childhood home. At the top piece is an abstract piece of art that I created myself. And below it, we've got a beautiful quilted collar. This one represents uh, one of my all-time personal heroes, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And if you wanna hear a little bit more about how this beautiful piece came into my life, I will link the makeover video for this bedroom down below so you can watch the whole transformation. Jewelry box, highly recommend. This one came from the container store. This lamp is a stipple style lamp that I thrifted from my local Seattle Goodwill store. And then this is a little Christmas cactus that is doing so well here on my dresser since I put it here when I made over this room. Our main bedroom in this rental house has a sort of exposed bathroom 
which isn't my favorite. And as I mentioned in the video makeover for this space, I would love to change this, <laughs> but I had to kind of design around it. This mirror actually was oriented horizontal when I first moved in and it was too short for you to see like the top of your hair. It was hung really poorly. So I decided to reorient it to go vertical. I put these two Ikea shelves here to organize other necessities. I love to organize things in baskets and seagrass is definitely something I gravitate to. And then this up here is one of our ZZ plants. So pretty in this stone texture pot. And this little elephant is also special. That is from a trip to India with my best friend Caroline years ago. You can see I like a pretty tidy bathroom counter. This glass piece, like a three-tiered piece for those essentials. This was from Target. And this soap dispenser was from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target as well. I added a little bit more texture to this side of the room by adding this thrifted woven basket above the towel hook. I think it was only like $4. This little towel is actually from Ikea. Half white, half beige color story which is perfect for my home and then that little hook that I installed is from hearth and hand at Target as well and I have three more in the little shower room Here's the little powder room, shower room. It's a very small space. We hung another three of those hearth and hand brass hooks for towels. This textured art is from Target. These baskets are from the Opal House line. You can find them in the bathroom section at Target. This little rug is also from the hearth and hand collection at Target. I covered up some ugly glass shower doors with this very simple striped beige and white threshold shower curtain. It matches nicely with this textured rug that we found at Costco. It's a great deal and added a little bit more natural colors to the space. And then through here, you can see our closet. Up at the top, I've got shoe and bag storage, accessory storage, obviously a lot of hanging clothes, a hanging shoe rack, little spot for belts on the end there. I like things very tidy and organized. And these drawers on the side are from Ikea. That holds things like athletic wear, sleepwear, shoes, laundry, and then more storage on the end. I love being able to look into these clear Sterilite bins to see my shoes. Very easy to find what I'm looking for. And one of my favorite organizational pieces is this awesome handbag holder that I found at the container store. Well, that concludes our house tour. I guess it's probably time to give you the big news. So here it is. I had to film this house tour now because it's time to close the book on this little design chapter of our story. And it's time to move on to our next space. Now, you may have seen a previous video on our home search. We had so much fun touring tons of homes and we found one. We bought our first home. <laughs> We are so excited to dive into some design projects. If you want to follow along on my interior design journey, you can find me here on Instagram for some pics of the house, some BTS and stories. I'm going to be redesigning every single room in that space, sharing budget-friendly tips along the way, and hopefully inspiring you to try something new in your home so you can design a home you love too. We can always brainstorm together down in the comments. What did you think of my house tour? Were there any ideas here that you might try in your space? If you enjoyed this house tour, you might really enjoy every behind the scenes episode in the rental house makeover series. I'll link that playlist here for you. My main bedroom makeover is right here. It's got some great budget friendly tips you can try to upgrade your bedroom. And I will see you in the next video. Bye my friends.